Hi, welcome to the TRX class, 45 minutes, where we're going to be doing um, total body workout. Three sets of exercises. Um, we're going to do um, every exercise three times as well for 45 seconds. And um, every set is going to contain an upper, some core, and some lower body movements. So our first exercise we're going to do is going to be, it's called fall back. We're going to do it one on each side and it's going to be facing away from the anchor. Facing away from the anchor, you're gonna bring the straps into your forehead, and then you're going to turn to your left or your right, facing the anchor, and controlling it, then you're gonna squeeze with the shoulder blades, pull it back. So fat, uh, regular time, it brings, comes into the forehead, brings it out, squeeze, and press it back. We'll do one side, then the other, and we're doing it for 45 seconds. So I'll do it at this angle, then I'm going to show to the back. Ready? And bring those straps to the forehead. Pivot. Pull back. Let those feet pivot as you go back. Bring it in. And exhale as you come up. Pinch those shoulder blades together. Twist. Try to replicate that movement. Facing away from the anchor. Squeezing. Pull those shoulder blades in. Use that core to whip it back into place. Bring it around. Control. Exhale up. Press out. Bring it in. Exhale as you come on up. Keep going. You got 10 seconds. We're going to switch sides in 5 seconds. And good job, shake it out. We're gonna go to the other side. Again, facing away from the anchor, roll those shoulder blades down. Get into that Frankenstein position, bring the hands to the forehead, pivot to the right side. And then exhale as you press back, go into that Frankenstein position. Elbows to the forehead, bring it around. Exhale as you come up. Slow controlled movements. Try not to power too much through it. Get those muscles engaged. Bring it in. Exhale. Press it forward. Eight seconds. And we're going to go ahead, again, facing away from the anchor, a chest fly. So get into an angle position, straps away from the body, palms facing each other, opening it, nice strong arms, squeeze it closed. Try to keep those arms fairly um, straight. If you've got a bad shoulder, you can kickstand the foot. So bring that foot forward of the, um, if your left shoulder hurts or you have an impingement or something, you can go ahead and bring that left foot slightly forward. Bring it out. 15 seconds. Exhale, bring it in. Bring it out. You got eight seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, we've got alternating front lunge. So you're gonna be Frankenstein position, maybe a little bit lower. Get the straps so they're not resting against you. You're gonna lunge forward, bring the hands up high, come back to a balance, pull it back. Alternate legs, bring it up, pull back. Facing with my back to you, bring it out, control, bring it in, out, bring it forward and control, out, forward, bring it in, again, out, in, forward. Keep it going for 15 more seconds. Always leaning into those straps. Hands either right up front on top or hands can go out to a Y position. And then our last movement in this group, in this set of exercises is going to be a standing plank. So you can, if you are hanging from an anchor from the ceiling, you can go right underneath that anchor, pull the straps away, just hold it. If you are at a door, 
Step away from the, uh, from the anchor. Bring your feet as close to your door as you can. Take the arms away and just move the arms a little bit and then bring it back. You get to choose. If you are at an anchor, try to go to that standing plank. Get those straps away from the body. Open up that chest. We have 15 seconds. Got eight seconds. Three, two, one. Great job. We're going back to those fallbacks, okay? Okay, round two. Go back and go back to the fallbacks. Starting session. Facing away from that anchor. Go ahead, Frankenstein position, bring the hands to the forehead, triceps, work those obliques, come on down. Exhale as you pull it together, bringing it up all to one side. Bring it in, fold over to the left side. Squeeze in both shoulder blades, press out, come back, up, bring it in. Exhale as you press up. Fifteen seconds. Three, two, one. Come on up. You got round two. Other side. Roll those shoulders back and down. Frankenstein position. Lean into that to, uh, anchor and bring the hands to the forehead, turning to the right side. Pivot. Slowly come on up, press those shoulder blades together, press it out. Bring it into the forehead, out and back. Exhale as you bring it up. Good. Bring it up. Squeeze it around. Up. Exhale up, yes. There you go. 15 seconds. Ten. Three, two, one. Good job. Going into our chest press. Still facing away from the anchor. Remember, you're going out nice and wide and then bringing it in. Three, two, one. Good go. Ten seconds. Three, two, and one. Okay, our next move, we're gonna do an alternating front lunge. You're gonna keep your hands up. You're just holding the straps with your palms. So out like that. You're gonna step forward, bring the arms overhead, come back, balance, bring it in. Switch legs, come forward, press out, pull in. Balance. What did you do? I can't see you anymore. You can't see me? Yeah, oh, there you are. It was really big and now I can't wonder if I can. Oh, go up to the right-hand corner. You should see speaker view. I should do so. Something else. If I... Um, if I unmute everybody, then you then I should stay in the big screen, perhaps. Right. Um, okay. Or not unmute. I'll meet you guys. No, I can't. I can't. It's fine. I can see you okay. now. You're right. little, but you were big. And rest. We're gonna do standing plank. So if you have it from hanging from the ceiling, you're gonna stand just under it. If you have it from a door, you're gonna get as close to the door as you can. Nice long straps, hold it. And you can roll it out a little bit to make it more challenging. You get to decide where you're gonna be. So if you are standing underneath that anchor, get those straps away from your body. Now, if you are standing with that door, so Kathy and Janet, go ahead, bring those arms up, try a roll out, bring the arms nice and close. Just bring it out, bring it in. Sarah and Tammy, you can do the same thing. Just a little movement. 10 seconds. Three, 
two, and one. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to repeat that. Janet, and uh, am I big yet? No, it's fine. Okay. All right, fall back. Ready? Facing away from the anchor. Bring it into the forehead. Turn, twist, pull back. Squeeze in, press out. Come up to the top. Again, control it. Exhale as you press forward. Twenty seconds. You should feel this triceps, core, a little bit of back, and a little bit of legs. All right, come on up. And we switch sides. Shake it out for a second. All right, ready? Round two, second side. Bring it into the forehead, turn, fall back, pull in, bring it up, twist, forehead, back, all the way down, squeeze in, press it out. I always know I haven't been doing enough TRX when my shoulder really bothers me. I have to do it for maintenance and I've been ignoring it too much. Five seconds. All right, good, shake it out. Chest fly, remember? Away from the anchor, standing nice and tall. You open and close, palms facing each other the whole time. Bring it out. Don't let those hands go beyond behind the shoulders. Exhale as you come up. Good, keep it here. Keep it up. Ten seconds. All right, alternating front lunges. So, again, hands out like this, facing away from the anchor. You're going to forward lunge, press pull back. So, so you can see my backside, bring it out. Pull balance, pull in, switch sides. You're always leaning forward just a little bit. Get nice and low, pull, bring it in. Nice and low, pull, squeeze it back in. Bring it down. Good, try not to hold too much onto the straps. You want those hands flared out. Squeeze. Pull back. And we've got our second round of standing plank. Remember, right underneath the anchor, get those straps away from your shoulders. You don't want to be resting here, okay? If you are away at a door, you go as far out as you can, or as close to the door as you can, and then just do a little roll out. So make it most challenging, you're underneath that anchor. Good, don't drop the head. All right, we've got 15 seconds here. If you're doing that rollout, your whole body is coming with you. So as you come down, that body falls, but you're stiff as a board. Five seconds. All right, good, shake it out. One more round, starting with the fall back. And then we get all new exercises. All right, ready? Sorry, face away from the anchor, bring the straps into the forehead, turn to the right, fall back. Bring it up, press all the way up. Tricep, obliques, core, 
pull back, squeeze those shoulder blades. Exhale, press forward. These are exercises you don't want to speed through. So make sure it's nice and controlled, eight seconds. And rest, good job, other side. <clears throat> All right, ready? And forehead, turn to the left. Bring it down, squeeze those shoulder blades, pull in, press with both hands. Let the feet pivot as you fall back and then as you return up. Fifteen. We got our chest fly. Shake it out. Palms facing each other inside of the straps and open. So how are you going to make this more challenging if you need to? Go lower, right? Get closer to the door. Exhale as you come on up. Fifteen. Eight. All right, and for alternating forward lunge. So remember, you're in this position. You bring it forward, press out, in. For camera sake, I'm facing away from the anchor. Bring it in, or facing away from the camera. Bring it up, hands up high, balance, pull back, leaning into those straps the whole time. You can bring the arms out to the Y, or you can bring them straight overhead. And last round, then we get all new exercises, standing plank or roll out, your call. Ready and go. Get those straps away from the shoulders, make it a little more challenging. You're halfway through. Hang in there. Stay with it. 15. One. Good job. All right. And drop the strap, shake it out. Shoulders in. All right. Our second set. So we're going through three sets of exercises. Our second set coming up. We've got, hold on one second. Hip throws are facing the anchor and you're down low like this. You're going to squeeze, press, bring it in, press. So you pinch those shoulder blades together and then press it forward. It's a little twist. You guys have done this one. Hopefully you remember it. If the twist feels bad, just stay with that low row. You'll just stay here. All right, bend those knees, squeeze that butt. Ready, go. Press. Exhale, press. 
Keep the arm nice and close as you throw it. Squeeze, press. So the straps go one on top of the other, center the body, and you're really throwing with your shoulder, not with your arm. In, and then you get those obliques working. Shoulder blades, pinching together first. Control that down. 10 seconds. Five. All right, drop one strap. Drop one strap, messy hair. Bring it right on top of the strap, on top of your head. Palms facing each other and drop. Exhale as you come on up. Drop the hip, come on up. Down, exhale up. What you don't want to do is you don't want to turn toward the anchor. You want to just drop, keeping in that same plane. So everything is going the same. Imagine you're between two walls and your body, your shoulders, nothing is touching those walls. So this is like pure oblique. Yep. And we call it messy hair because okay. those, that strap is really staying on top of that head. All right, and switch sides. Go ahead and drop, bring it up. Drop it and bring it up. Exhale, good. You should not feel this in your back. So if you're feeling any pain in your back, try to make sure that those shoulders are really open. You're nice and long, controlling that hip drop, keeping that strap on top of your head. Keep those elbows, elbows open up wide, eight seconds. All right, and bicep curl. So shake it out, palms facing each other. Again, we're facing that anchor. And you're gonna try and keep those elbows up. Bring it into the forehead and then extend. So what you don't want to do is this. We're not going to squeeze those shoulder blades. We're going to just, you don't want to do this. You want to just bring that strap up to the forehead. Keep that chest open. Extend those arms. Exhale up. Bring it on down. So if your elbows are dropping at all, Think about just moving the elbows. Your upper arm is in a cast. It's not going anywhere, except for your bulging biceps are breaking through that cast. <laughs> All right, so this is gonna be different for the people who are hanging from the ceiling. You're gonna go ahead, bring that strap in between your arms, thumbs to your forehead. Um, if you're at a door, this is gonna be a little bit harder. You're gonna pop it up, bring it down. Squat up, squat down. If you are just on the door, you're going to do a squat, come up to the toes, squat up to the toes, down, bring it up. You get to choose which level works. Tammy, put the straps in between your body and your arm and bring it up, bring it down, bring it up, bring it down, up. Keep it going. Janet, it works with the door. You're okay? Works fine with the door. Okay. Yeah. Kathy, if you want to do it with the door next time, you can. Okay. Three, two, one, rest. You got 10 seconds to catch your breath. Then we go into that hip throw again. We're starting second set. Okay, so face that anchor. And let's go. Squeeze the glutes. Pinch the shoulder blades and twist at the top. Remember, you have the option to just do a nice squeeze. Exhale. See if you can challenge yourself by taking one small step closer to that anchor.
Bend those knees a little bit more. Drop the butt just a little bit. Eight seconds. You get to catch your breath after this. Messy hair doesn't take a lot of cardio. And rest. Drop one strap. Place it on top of your head. Lean away from that anchor. Drop that hip. Bring it up. Drop that pit hip. Remember to keep it all in that same plane. Exhale as you pull up. Twenty seconds. Breathing, the exhaling. Good job. Other side. All right, hands up high and drop. Bring it up. You all feel this in your obliques? Your waist. Oh, yeah. This is one of my favorite uh, waist exercises. Yeah. See if you can drop just a little bit lower while still keeping that strap on top of the head. Five seconds. And rest. Face that anchor, bicep curl. Palms up. Ready? Open up that chest and let's do it. Bring it into the forehead. Bring it on down. Into the forehead and down. And exhale on the up. You got 15 seconds here. Five, three, two, one. Facing away from that anchor, I guess, even if you're doing it at the door, you can do the Peter Pan squats, I like to call them, because you sort of feel like you're flying. Bring those thumbs near the armpit, squat down, pop up, pop back. You can also just squat here. Drop it, bring it up. Pop up, pop back. So when you come up, it's just a tap and then you slide into it. You melt right back into it. Keep that head in alignment with that spine. Enjoy the flying part of it. So you should feel like a kid at a park swinging. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. And we've got one more round of that. So take a deep breath in. You got five seconds. We go back to the hip throw. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Bend those knees. Open up that chest. Squeeze. Punch with that shoulder. Can you bend your knees a little bit more?
challenge yourself. Go one inch closer to that door or that anchor. Try to take all the momentum out of this movement and just pause for a second at the bottom and then squeeze up thinking about contracting those obliques. Keep the elbows wide. If you start to see it creeping forward, just correct the form. Eight seconds. And rest. Other side. Ready? Let's go. Bring it down, drop. Exhaling that up. Challenge yourself, take that half inch, maybe one inch in closer to that anchor. Pause for a second at the bottom and then just engage those obliques as you come on up. Ten seconds here. All right. Who remembers what we do next? Bicep. Yep. Bicep curl. Ready? Palms up. Forehead. And back down. Always making sure that those elbows are not dropping. If you cannot bring the straps up to the forehead without the elbows dropping, come up to a little bit more of a stand. If this is super easy, you walk closer to that anchor. You walk closer to the door. Fifteen seconds. Five. And last thing, Peter Pan squats. Tuck those straps in between the body. Bring the thumb to the armpit. Sit into it. Nice crouch position. Pop up that back. If, even if you have bad knees, this is gonna, should feel okay. We are not letting those knees go in front of those toes, even on these squats, it may look like it, but if you tilt your body up, you should see that your knees are still behind those toes. 20 seconds. exercises. We're going to be doing triceps to start. So facing away from the anchor, your palms will be up and you'll just bring the straps into the forehead and back. Okay. Our second movement, we're going to do, we're going to do two sets of legs and they're going to be um, one side, then the other. All right. Get ready. And face away from that anchor, palms facing down, hinge only at the elbow, bring it into the forehead and back, in, so looks like this, I'm out of the screen if I face you. We're doing triceps, Janet, bring okay. it into the forehead. Okay, without paying attention. Okay. <laughs> Exhale. Biggest thing here, don't let those elbows go to the side. Keep them nice and narrow and then drop those shoulders. Remember those shoulders are poison to those ears. Keep them away from the ears. Press it out. Let that whole body fall into it. Don't let that butt hang out. When, you're show, when your 
Our elbows bend. Your body comes down with you. All right, drop a strap. We're going to go ahead, reach back, looking back at our left hand, holding onto the strap with our right. We're going to come on up, all the way over. Bring it down, look down at that left hand, follow it. Bring it down, squeeze that right shoulder blade as you come up. Feel that twist at the top. Go all the way up on the toes. Bring it down, exhale up. Bring it down. With my hair, I feel like Jack Nicholas from The Shining. It's so wild. Drop that butt a little bit more, squeeze it. Shake it out, other side. So this is, this is a little bit of a power move. So think of it that way. You are adding some explosive movement here. We're down, bring it up and over. Down, up and over. Gaze at that right hand as it goes down. Keep your eyes on it as it crosses the strap. Squeeze out good. Fifteen seconds. All right, so I said we're doing two legs. That was total body, but it incorporated a lot of legs. We're going to do our cross back lunge. Hold both straps. Down one side, drive it up. Now you can bring it here, add a hop if you want, or just drive. Bring it down, drive, down, drive it up. If you want a little bit more cardio, a little bit more power, jump. Add a little hop at the, up, at the top. Otherwise, squeeze. facing forward. Don't twist them. Add a hop if you want to. Here's the hop. Fifteen. Eight. Three. Two. One, shake it out. Starting with triceps. How are we doing? Okay. Face away from that anchor. Ready? Let's go. Take those shoulders, roll the shoulders back, squeeze the shoulder blades, start in that Frankenstein position. hand this time. Power pull-ups. You're going to reach back. Look at that right hand as you shift into it. Come on up onto those toes as you cross that strap. Bring up. Reach up. 
exhale, reach, control that down, squeeze. these movements because we're using total body we're using those legs reach back look at the left hand let it cross that strap go up on those toes as you come up squeeze that glute as you are up on that toe on the toes Good job. Grab both traps, cross back lunge with that hip, with that knee drive. Ready? Down, drive it up. Down, drive up. The nice thing about doing these with the straps, as opposed to on your own without the straps, is you can get a little bit lower probably have a little bit more range of motion that you can offer. Really perfect that form, keep the shoulders over the hips. You got eight seconds here. Two, one, shake it out, other side. All right, ready? Other side, roll the shoulders back. Upper arms nice and close to the body. Drive that hip in. You always have the option to add a little bit more power to this move. Can you get that back knee all the way down to the ground? seconds. Five seconds. All right, shake it out. We've got one more set and then we're done. How you guys doing? Face away from that anchor. We got our triceps to start. Ready? And let's go. In, press out. Now, as you get fatigued, your form might falter. So make sure you are not letting those elbows go out to the side. Keep them nice and narrow. Oh, I can do this on my knees so you can see it. Press out, bring it in, press out. To make it a little more challenging, try to keep those straps away from each other. Instead of here, keep them out. I'm dripping. So am I. Eight, eight seconds. I didn't say moist. <laughs> All right, and power pull up. So decide which side is harder for you. Left or right side, start with the harder side. Ready? And let's go, reach back. Keep your eyes on that hand and as it goes down, drop that butt, squeeze, power it up. Fifteen seconds. Three, two, and one. 
let's go, reach back. Drop that butt, cross it over. right here. Roll the shoulders back, upper arm nice and close to the body, and let's go down. Drive it up, down. Try to barely hold on to the straps, but let them allow you to increase that range of motion. Drive it up. Don't lean forward. Keep that body nice and upright. 15 seconds remaining. Stay with it. 10 seconds, eight, five, four, three, two. Awesome job, shake it out. Let's go ahead, just do a little stretch, okay? And then we'll open it up, walk toward the, away from the anchor, then just open, kickstand the foot, let the chest open, hold it there. All right, go ahead, face the anchor now. And press forward. Reach the arms out. Go nice and wide, slow, and then bring it in. Bring it in, good. One more time. And 